What do we have here? Meg, M-E-G, Meg Energy Corp, another one, Toronto Stock Exchange. And they are really popping up in stage twos for that sector on the TSX. Love it. Uh, sometimes, guys, you're, you're, you've been riding a stage two for so long and um, you forget that it could actually be a stage three. Talking about those NASDAQ stocks, those tech stocks. Starting to slow down and you're hanging in there, getting whips out a little bit. If you just take your attention just a little bit elsewhere, don't look at just one stock. Look at everything and then a little Canadian uh, stock exchange giving some nice uh, strong breakouts on stage twos and uh, that's what you want, right? Check it out. This is the monthly candle chart. And do, 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 do. we have on a shorter term pattern. Remember, these are monthly candles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or like for about a year, this has been uh, bottoming out or consolidating. And right now we have a monthly candle above the breakout line. This is a further away. And on the weekly, this is probably going to look very, very sweet. Yeah. So let's try it like that. All right, I have a few lines in. I always look at the higher prevailing trend. If I have a breakout, so in the, at the end of April, this is above uh, the 580 level, 590. I know that uh, I have the wind in my cells, and that's what I want. Let's go look at Stan's, Stan's framework on the weekly candle chart. Wow, look at the ADX. I'm just using a screener. Stan doesn't use this as trim framework. And um, that uh, let's say you have a use screen for ADX under 20 for X period of time, and it should give you nice stage ones and threes. Look at that. This has been trending uh, sideways, and it's tight, tight. And when the, the, when the uh, ADX starts going up or down, either the, it's slowing down the trend or it's going up. So that's pretty cool right there. What do we have? Okay, let me zoom in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. So now look at that. Remember the red cloud? It's uh, This is resistance, Ichimoku cloud. If you're under, it's a downtrend. You could also notice the same behavior, or come to the same conclusion lo looking at the 30-week uh, uh, simple moving average. If it's flat, like the 30-week moving average, you're in a stage one or three, in this case, it's stage one. And when the Ichimoku cloud's starting to get thinning out, then you know you're in a stage one or three and it's just flip flopping. So, right now, there's a we are we're trying to go through resistance and we are a, almost there. See the press action it's starting to work its way through. We're above the uh, breakout candles, monthly resistance, but we're not above the weekly's uh, resistance. So right now, what we have to do is just wait just a little bit for the weekly to close above. And then if you're really patient, then we'd wait for the uh, monthly uh, candle close above that uh, 580 level. RSI going upwards. Over the halfway point, not the Mansfield, just a classic RSI. And there's a final confirmation that we need to look at is the volume. All right. Is this the launching pattern right here? This breakout, this candle, does that have twice the average? It's 12.5 million. This is a. Uh, hold on, let me. Popping the crosshairs. Not showing up well. Okay, remove the crosshairs. 20.5, under 10, under 5, under 6. So, yeah, it's almost twice the average of the previous four to five weeks. So, this is actually could be the confirmation for the volume of the breakout. 30 week average going upwards, above a breakout line. Stan, remember, didn't use the Ichimoku clouds, right? 
We're using it to uh, make sure we don't get website like respect the Michimoku cloud to give you the resistance you might run into. So just make sure you, it goes through and you don't waste your time uh, getting stuck. And I do the same thing on the monthly candle chart. Wait for a breakout on the monthly candle chart to make sure I don't get whips out and run into uh, what I call invisible resistance, right? Resistance that you don't see on this chart. You'll see it on the monthly. And check it out. So Alastan, you could have said this was your bottom formation. You had your breakout candles here. Or you could have had it right here. Could have, this could have been the, the nicer bottom formation on the weekly candle chart right there. So it's really close to uh, giving you a signal. I'd wait a few weeks. Wait till you bust uh, those levels here. You stay above uh, the 6. And now if we could close above... Um, could stay above 650. I think this is a good stage 2 to get in, guys. Hopefully we get some more volume here, but you could almost make a case that the breakout candle had the volume was building up before. Let's go back on the monthly, just to see how all those lines look up. And yeah, that candle, if it really closes above the sixth level, the sixth level there, we have a monthly candle breakout. Nice, all right, Meg, you're another stage two. And I'll keep that chart open and come back to you in a few weeks. All right. Short one today. Cool. See ya, guys.